Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Killer Frequency. This is a game I've been looking forward to for a very long time. In this horror game, you are a radio host, and it is up to you to save your listeners from a serial killer. It's a really fun game with a great sense of humor, and I know all that because I played the Itch.io version of this game, and really really long time ago i don't know if anyone remembers uh but the it's io version was basically a short showcase of what they wanted to do in the full game and everyone loved it i loved it uh so i'm super excited to see that the game has now finally come to steam it is fully out and we're going to be checking it out today it's going to be a long one as you can see by the length of this video it's going to be fun i hope you join me if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time uh, let's hop into the game let's go oh, oh my god the aesthetic of this game is great. Oh, we can move with WASD. I've played a video game before. Picking up objects. They got great music, I'm assuming, as well. Object interaction. You can hold two objects at once. Swap between them with the scroll wheel. After drop object, R to throw objects. Uh, oh, I see. You can hold two objects. You're making sense right now. Uh, R to place an object. Can I move this? I can open this. Uh huh. Why do we start in the back alley? Are we, are we trying to break in somewhere? I thought we were, I thought we worked in this place. Someone? Uh, excuse me, who did that and why? I can throw it with R. Just throw it on the ground. Okay, I see. I'm just picking up two bottles for no reason. I'm gonna be... Excuse me, what? Hello? Who's out there? <laughs> Dude, it's starting all creepy. What the heck? Um, I'm, I'm spooked. I'm going in here. Uh, inspecting object. Press E to begin inspecting. Hold. Wait, press E to begin inspecting. Hold left mouse button and move to rotate object while inspecting. Okay, E to inspect. Or, aha, uh -huh, I see. And then I can rotate it around. Is there any reason I would want to do that? I like the thick outline that they got around objects. Uh, can I go in here? I, I see a button right here. I'm going to click this button. Yeah, watch out for the breather. Is that not a button? Looks like a button. Oh, what do we got? Crouch. Okay. Controller crouch. Freight elevator only. Okay, that's not for us then. Uh, is this the door we're gonna get into? Opening doors. Hold and... Okay, there we go. I see. Now, this game has lots of secrets, I know, from... I can't drop this. this oh, there we go. Uh, from playing the Itch.io version. They, they put all kinds of secrets everywhere. What? Excuse me. Hello? I'm locked in. What is <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, hi there. Um, is this the serial killer we're after? Ah, uh, that's a little spooky. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> hi. Um <laughs> Let's go. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, baby, the music, though. Oh, here we are. You, Holy uh, shit. You hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? Okay. I thought I heard someone yelling, or... I don't know. Oh, we, placed the, we played it the ver Horace, as the first victim. I no, see. I, I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You Look probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean, I can pick up everything. I can throw it at you. Does have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. <laughs> anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Dude, Seriously, I can throw so far. Holy shit! We have to do these checks every time. And I and throw it in a trash can. Do you have to call him that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call oh, it pre-flight check. <laughs> but if you're sure you don't want to. Oh, sorry, I got distracted by throwing thing. Uh, do I need to do the tutorial on how to use the DJ deck? Sure, let's let's do the checks. I don't know All how right, to do this. Fine. Let's get through this. Okay. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. Oh, We're it. about to hit some tubular okay. rents. Oh, I can walk around here. Let's I start see. Start with record playing. Okay. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. I'm Easy. trying. I'm trying to stick it on the player. I can't seem to stick it on the player. There we go. Just have to wait a little bit. Got it. Let's go. I'm a DJ. <laughs> Great. Now turn it off. Uh, boop. I've done it. 
You proud All of me? Right. Up next, phone line buttons. Okay. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy. I see. Ready for you on line we can one. get our callers Who's that Peggy? way. This is Captain Donald Key. Press four, Peggy. Call me Don. Press four, you Peggy. Get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. What is the? You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. <laughs> the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Okay. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? <laughs> we haven't invented it yet. Now come on. I love the, the Peggy banter. Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I Get it for pegged you. button. <laughs> <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. <laughs> I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? Dude, the voice acting is so good. Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster? Is it easy? I don't know how how to do that. Uh, I click all the buttons. There we go. All I got a soundboard, dude. All it's right, like I'm doing a live done. stream. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Okay. I see. All right. Seems Aha. to be all working. We done? Captain? Oh, baby. <laughs> we sure are. Come in for landing. Local time? Yeah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Love now, it. let's get okay. the show started. After your introduction, yeah, I love this. first segment this is, so cool. <laughs> is Guess That Scream. I Guess That Scream. Thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. <laughs> I got such fun buttons here. <laughs> I got crickets and everything. Time to turn the music off. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> okay, you're live in. Oh, no. Three, Wait, what the fuck? Two... Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here we go. This is how it all starts. <laughs> Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. <laughs> this is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Dude, that was so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be scream, a crazy with this. You call and guess that scream. Okay. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, <laughs> hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close. <laughs> so inappropriate. And then call in to. Guess that scream. Oh, we hey, get a call. What do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. I played some music. Oh, here, I see tapes. Forrest, you do have the tape right. What are you talking about? We were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't Can't have the throw. tape. It may be a stupid I'm idea, insane. but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic. So... Oh, baby. He's going to scream? I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across <laughs> America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Hey, it, welcome Jeez. to my life. That's Come basically on, my Forrest, job. Just do it. <laughs> That's enough you can do it, out. dude. Put on your YouTube thumbnail face. Come on, rip. man. Oh, God. Here you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close and then call in to guess that scream. Here he goes. Oh, the perturbed scream. The falling off a cliff. The dr I'm going to do falling off a cliff. <laughs> that was fucking well, terrible. Folks, there you have it. <laughs> call in with your guesses. And if you get oh it right, my God. you could win. Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. <laughs> well, can I have more music, please? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. 
Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, baby. Dude, I'm a freaking, I'm a DJ master. <laughs> and then just randomly we go. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was actually sick. Okay, and now I can, well, oh, now we can talk. Should I introduce the song? Yes. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Oh, I introduced it. Okay. Oh, God, Forrest. That was amazing. Let's go. That was Thanks. the jingle. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Okay. Did I get to walk around and check some stuff? What? Oh, I love these. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming. <clears throat> oh, there is? Oh, here we go. Okay, Turn Forrest, the shut the music off. Is there a call? There's no call! What are you talking about? The music is crazy. What's the call? I when you're ready, oh, shut the music shut off. Shut the music off so I can get the call. I see. Welcome to 189.16 <laughs> The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. 16. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank <laughs> God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Okay. I'm the 911 okay. oh. operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. What? Are you calling guess that's a slow night? <laughs> well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Uh oh. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. <laughs> I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Oh, are you serious? Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? <laughs> I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened I did happened not expect to do so that. I came to the station and <laughs> I found him. Oh God, poor Sheriff Matthews. <laughs> Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got him oh very God. close, and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but. But. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, is there anyone else in the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you, or? Or who might be responsible? No, I checked everywhere. Oh no! Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. Jesus! I called you right after I found her. God, wait! Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. We have three, but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's going to be us, baby. Forrest, I have <laughs> routed all 911 calls. <laughs> that seems irresponsible. <laughs> Oh, baby, you can count on me. <laughs> you can count on me. I'll, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. Okay. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, Absolutely. There are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. Oh, here we go. I have an emergency. Oh no! I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. Okay. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Oh, Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. They're 
aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Okay, try to break down the door. Find a one other way into the cell. Find another set of keys. Uh, find another There's set of keys. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only ones. Of course. Yes, there Let's must go. be I'm another smart. set. Let's go, I'm smart. Where might another set be? Uh, check the office. Sheriff. Isn't Sheriff Matthews in the... Well, he's fucking dead, right? Check him. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... Or is that the one that's stuck I in the see thing? I any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Music is playing by itself. Oh, I think I might be sick. Oh, no. We're gonna... Sorry, Sheriff. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn you over Oh, no. And... Oh. Please don't stare at me. <laughs> what have I done to this lady? Oh, wait. That might be them. Oh. Got the cell keys. Let's go. Like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. What is so this? far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Uh, I can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm quitting KFM if this is a break. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. We got this. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit forest. I think we're, you're we're right. We're on the 911 radio. I have to say, I, well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. Sorry, I'm just back. I'm back. Deputy okay. Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Oh, it's the right thing to do. You're leaving. We're on our own. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. Are we you talking on air, by the way? Well, Are we I'll playing some music? <laughs> what? My car is on fire. My <laughs> car. My car is on fire. <laughs> What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? <laughs> what happened? Wait. What? No, no way. For, this oh, the whistling. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It it's the whistle killer. Oh, I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? Who, uh -oh. Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling, the whistling man? man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... I don't know what that was all that. Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? I want, like, he's a gasping way. sound. Uh, look at the... Lock Leslie, the doors. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. I want like a <gasps> sound on the soundboard. Oh, uh, oh shit! Take the, 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 the hide in the station. Run for hide in the station. Run for it. You need to run for it. The whistling man might break through the door. We can't run for it. Deputy Martinez. Oh is shit! And what are we going to do? Run to Henderson on foot? Okay, should be police, police cruisers. cruisers. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you should take one of those. Okay, I... yeah, way better yeah. idea. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. Uh, I'll just reach into your Dude, pocket. The music's there, so good. And... Yes, got him. Okay, nice. He's for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. <clears throat> nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait, how am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Uh, take the gun. Wait, I have to choose. Sheriff Matthews is the one that died, right? But that one has no bullets. So, because they were already a bunch of bullet casings on the ground. So we're going to do Deputy Martinez because they're probably not. They didn't use Deputy it yet. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? C could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is... No! 
I guess the whistling man must have done Fuck. something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, but right? But he doesn't Did have any bullets! It? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Because he already shot them. Fuck, I was- I clicked the wrong answer Shit. again. It's empty. <laughs> he must yeah, have emptied go. it trying to- That's what I was saying! Himself. Okay, is there a weapon lock up? There must be a weapon lock up in the station, right? Or is it too small? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. Well, we got the keys, right? Yeah, exactly. Let me see. Nice, nice. No. Oh, come on. No. No. Uh, shit. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um. Uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's okay. belt. Okay, well, wait, what? Wasn't that the one I told you to check in the first place? All right. It looks like I think right now we're basically tutorialing. Baton, pepper spray, and taser. Oh, God. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Taser, pepper spray? Okay. Uh, Jesus, this one, stable room. Uh, definitely not the baton. Definitely, the pepper spray is so up close and personal as well. I think taser would be the best. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Yeah. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez. The other then... ones are too close. Wait. Uh -oh. Did you hear that? No. You mean? No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's Banana peel. We're knocking. Can you still see the whistling man? Be careful. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Oh! Are you sure Not about this, Leslie? <laughs> no time like the present, right? So, here we it's go. It's a totally serious game. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Okay. If I reach it. <sighs> Better. Speak to you soon. Alrighty. Good luck. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Leslie. <laughs> Good luck, Leslie. There we go. We've done it. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. You know, I've got to say, this, what is this really one? wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, it's they always say you have to be me. ready for everything in live radio. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to put the... What is this? How do I put oh, eject? I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Okay. Hello? Forrest? Hi. Peggy? The world-famous annual oh. Gallows Creek Harvest Festival. What the fuck was that? Sorry. Uh, the, 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 we're here. Over. We're here. <laughs> Leslie, so I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. Okay. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it, get, get back! Get away from her! Haze him! Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Oh no, did we pick the wrong weapon? Yeah, take that! We got him! Drive! Get out of here! Drive! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're Let's go! Are you okay? Well done. Dude, look Sounds at that. like you handled that pretty Woo. well. Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. Let's go. Oh my God, Woo. I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my God, yeah. Let's well, let go. Let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. <laughs> well, Leslie, how bad. long do you think it's gonna take to get help? Gallows Creek as a nowheresville. But it's pretty oh damn my close. god, look at that. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Uh, that's going to be a long. We'll do our bit. You better floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me oh. twice. Anyway, once I'm in. Oh. I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. <laughs> Can I Peggy pick it up again? Oh, there. Okay. Soon. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. The flow. Crying for help. 
fuck? What a name for it. Okay, take care. Try not to crash. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. There. Oh, baby. All right, play some music. Folks, you heard it here. We've got Oh, a they, they that was live. <laughs> Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, they were listening to all of that. We're counting on you. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. That was we'll all on there. On 189.16, The Scream. For now, <laughs> here's another hit record. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> oh, baby, here we go. Now, it's time to go <laughs> with The Flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. That's so, this dude, I'm nice good at this shit, man. <laughs> this is actually the timing. insane. Did she really <laughs> say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, <laughs> that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character? Dude, anyway? man, let's go. He was go. a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just. Damn, I suck. Uh, what happened to him? And he's come back tonight. And he's come back tonight. Probably not. Oh baby, I'm Please so chased good him this. up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. Whistling was, Point. Well, it was on this night actually. Oh, of the course. Cornered him. Jumped into the river. His body was never found. Oh my god. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. Music is genuinely good. Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Oh. We'll do our best. All right. Copycat or ghost killer. I, so much stuff I guess around we'll do here. Our best. That's the spirit. <sighs> At least we got the word out, I guess. Oh. What kind of <laughs> listening figures do we get at this time? On the oh, we got a what the hell? Midnight could be around 35. 35. East McCrady 3, Street. Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. Oh. At best. <laughs> Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? <laughs> Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners. 35, yeah. It's a school night. <laughs> and what's the population Dang of Gallows Creek? The, the rule number know, one of radio. Do not talk about the listener thousand. number. No. Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight <laughs> hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? dream of that Damn, five man. million oh my a god <laughs> yeah sometimes that's just the way it goes at least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet <laughs> dude this gets so yes. good man i love it yeah i guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective all right let's tonight, do a new huh? song oh we have a call coming in oh never mind take it when you're all right ready. we'll do a new song next time okay forrest shut the music off here we go Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. 189. Is no! everything uh, all right? <sighs> Why did it play that so long? What is going on? Hello? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? He's the whistling man! You know my name. Why does he talk like that? I've come back from the dead to kill again. <laughs> no one's safe. You don't have to do this. Do you accept requests? <laughs> Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. <laughs> Maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. 
A sacrifice? To us. I mean... <laughs> What is going on? She's dusted pretzels. Branko? I, mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Alrighty, we're God put... damn kids. <laughs> I'm cutting them off. Yep. Not yet, I want to deal with them? Not yet. I want to deal with them. <laughs> Mega go. Okay, I'll do it. <sighs> okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega gulp behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. And then they're gonna just wait there for the rest of the night doing uh, nothing. A wise choice. See you soon, Morris Nash. I was gonna hang up. <laughs> there Needless we go. To say, I won't actually be going out <laughs> to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this some music next for you. one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and <laughs> windows locked. What's it going to be? Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Oh, baby. Hey, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? <laughs> it's a thing. A thing? It's a good song, though. Ugh, kids around here. They pull <laughs> pranks pretending to be him. By what pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... Oh, did I just no, kill the that... kids because they're gonna go out and they're gonna get killed? <laughs> Christ. Idiots. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. <laughs> we already have another caller on the line. All right, let's do this. <laughs> we already have another caller. I'm busy. I'm listening to the music. Okay, the McCready Street is blocked. By the way, we need to keep that in mind. We have a call waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm busy. What's the McCready Street? This one. Okay. All right, all right. I'm turning it down. We'll do that and then we'll turn it off. Hello, caller. <laughs> You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? That was great. I dialed 911. I need the sheriff <laughs> right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 <laughs> so tonight. Up, man. <laughs> what's your name and what's your truck? <laughs> You're just being blasted on live air. And I need the cops now. Okay, here we go. Uh, the sheriff is dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sandra, but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. This is actually what? so fucked up, man. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, oh. knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. A jazz run? Where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. <laughs> I jazz ran. <laughs> that was not what I expected. I never locked the door, at least. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get lost. She jazz ran all the way to her car. Oh. Can you go back and find your keys? Dude, the music is too good. Is there anyone else you, anywhere else you can go? Sounds like you lost him. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... <gasps> I'm insane. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's back. <gasps> I need a gasping noise, dude. Why is there no <gasps> gasping noise on the soundboard? <laughs> you're gonna have to help me. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. Uh, if it helps, I don't have I've got one. A toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. You got a fucking toolkit? Okay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and <clears throat> savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Okay. Stab in the night! <laughs> yes! Perfect! 
It's funky. It's groovy. <laughs> it's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. That's so fucked up, Doesn't dude. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? Like Mora Twins or what something. What a song, dude. Timberline <laughs> Twins Talk Motors. Oh, yeah. man. You know they're not even brothers. Really? What's the same, though? I know, but they're not even related. It's oh, weird. Jesus. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and Perfect defensive. for the occasion. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh. That's actually a sick song, though. Holy shit. Okay. Damn, dude. Oh, the, break, the speakers are here. Dude, the music in this game is sick. Staffy, thank you for the, for, the, for the six months. Oh, baby. All right, we need to go down the hallway. We get the music. Is there flies? All right. Let's go. Offices. Oh no, the music's too quiet now. Uh, this looks like an so office. Many locked doors, so few keys. Um, this one. This is the office. Okay. <clears throat> you guys are not listening to the to the show. I thought you were our biggest fans. This is the creepy hour. Craft and work as seen on TV. Okay, we're, what are we even doing down here? I was not paying attention to anything. We're supposed to do something down here, right? Oh, was oh the tool, the box. We got oh we got a key, car show thing, truck, full color nuts and bolts action. Uh, we got can what is this? Twins, I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos, rancheros, aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. I had a phone call bleeping. Wait, I thought they, I thought she sent me over here. Oh, what's this? What the hell? I can't read this garbage. Okay. We were trying to find the show tape. Okay. This one. Perfect. It's gotta be this one, right? Wait, there's so much shit here. Dear Brady Carter. Let's scroll. Dear Brady Carter, please enjoy a free sample of garlic bread. We've pinned our latest offers and deals on the outside of the box if you want to read them out on air. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible, and we think you should read our adverts instead. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three-hour slab roast, slow roasted pizza. Much love. Hey, I ate the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. This shit is worth checking out, though. What the hell? <clears throat> Throw it on the ground. What's this? Kalupa Cabra. We can all agree that the flavors profile of Kalupa Cabra are the best in town. By being a pricey option and offering no deals, the El Diablo burrito has the best mouthfeel, and those huevos rancheros, rancheros are just excellent. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, I'm going back with the tape. I don't know if this is what I need, but I want to hear the music. It's a grilling. This is just a fucking ad, isn't it? I need the magazine. What am I about to play here? Wait, put it in. Hey, hey, hey. great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. <laughs> oh no! Look out of beer. They're out of beer. What am I gonna do? Spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins. A free six pack? Righteous. You heard me. Six <laughs> beers. This is a fucking scam. What's going on? Did you find anything? Oh, I did not find anything. Not yet. Uh, remind me, what am I looking for remind again? Remind me what I'm looking for again. The caller is trying to start a car without the keys. Oh. Uh, yeah, and we have a car show, right? Timberline uh. Twins Talk Motors, yeah. Okay. I would go see what they have on their desk at the far end of the office. I Thanks, see. Eddie. Okay, I see. We need to play the music again, though. Okay, there we go. I see, I see. Okay, I need to find a car show so we can start her car. I see. How is she still alive after all this time? We're going to be taking too long and they're going to die. Okay. Uh, there was this car mag- it's twin something. This is not the- Read the note again? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. here. This has to be important. Uh huh. It's they were, it's on the shitter. It's on the it's on the shitter because <laughs> you need something to read. Okay. Here we go. Where is it? There it is. This looks useful. Yes. Okay. Let's go. I'm smart now. Turns out. They're listening to the same music over and over again. Oh, this is a weird door. It opens all the ways. All right. I got the magazine. I've done it. Object tray. Place items in the tray to hold them. Like, oh, like that. Oh, there we go. Can I rotate this, please? Instead of having it like this. Okay. I can listen to you again. Turn off the music. You I got find it. Anything? Yeah. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. This is the one show, one Time song radio station. Off. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's, can we call her on line one? Here Thanks, we Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? Oh, the Scream. through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. Okay, fuck. How do we start this, baby? Okay, uh, dude, can you fucking read it? How do I read it? How do I read it? How do I read the magazine? This doesn't help me. Can I? Oh, I can rotate an item. E to inspect. Rotate it. There we go. Okay, I'm stupid. Uh, here we go. Keyless entry techniques. Step one. Use a screwdriver as a key. If that fit. Okay, use a screwdriver as a key. Clockwise. Okay. I'm getting a dead air achievement. Uh, put the screwdriver and twist cl clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition. Okay, here we go. And twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. What next? Remove the steering column. Unscrew the steering column. Get the steering wheel with Unscrew the hammer. The steering column. All right. Just turn. Just Check the serial turn. number, one, then. Two, one, two. What the fuck is this shit? I want these screws. Okay. Covers off. What are these fucking. There's a bunch of what is step three? Oh, no. Okay, you're doing great. Do your jazz breathing, don't panic. <laughs> Do your jazz breathing, don't panic. Gonna. Okay. You got this. this. There's a red wire. Oh no. A blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Uh oh. Okay. What is the serial number on the steering column? What's the serial number on the steering column? Oh, here we go. Oh no. Five seven. Four, three, two, zero. Ten, ten, ten. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what do we got to do? If there's a four before a three and no seven. No, okay, that's not it. Uh, if there is a six anywhere and doesn't start with five, okay. If there is a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six. Okay, so a three comes after a six and it ends at a zero. So it's red and yellow. Okay. Strip the, strip and twist the red and yellow wires. Here we go. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow, then we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Oh God. Now strip the purple wire. Strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Okay, strip the purple wire and brush against Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires. This one. Strip the purple wire <clears throat> and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... <gasps> cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. Okay, I'm glad we did it. Just keep driving. Get the hell out of there. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, baby. We saved Sandra. <laughs> this freaking. Let's go. We did it, Forrest. Keep we talking sure and nobody dies. Give us achievement. Another hit track that we're ja oh. excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to 
Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Do we have jazz? Take it away, Forrest. Do we have jazz? Is this jazz? Storm Riders, the word, smooth. This sounds jazzy as hell. It's not really jazzy. But... Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. I still can't believe this is happening. Right? That Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek this. is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? This is cool. Uh, it's nothing personal. Peg, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, Peggy. Nothing personal, not kid. Well, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Stab happy? Stab happy? <laughs> Don't be awful, what? Forrest. Come on, there must I'm be being something awful. you like about this place. Uh, some folks have been okay. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? My <laughs> praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie oh, gets back on. soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? No. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Wait. It's 42 minutes later. That's scream. Caller on line 1. Why did that skip time? We were just listening to the same song over and over again. Is there anything around here? Frequency fest. There's so much detail in this place. Are these all I suppose I should take this call. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 <laughs> Every time this hey, folks, never gets old. My name is Brian. Uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty Pizza. Uh, hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thank you, oh, so I wins. Sounds like you already had enough. Sorry, I'm I was gonna play an ad over his ad, but <laughs> sorry. Pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. <laughs> wow, Brian, that's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals. I'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to Brian, die this is for. not the time. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Poor choice of words. <laughs> yeah, the, the, that was pretty... <laughs> don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I... I should have played the drums. Put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. No We've got a great special this weekend. Shut a up. Famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. <laughs> there we Done. go. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Oh. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? One of these? Uh, do you know how to play a set? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We get to play an ad. Here we go. This one looks American as hell. Here we go. Yes. Sure. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, <laughs> and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. 
Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, <laughs> Teddy Gallows Excuse Jr. Me. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after uh. years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early they retirement. They just got killed. <laughs> Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? This is so funny. Help Teddy Gallows Jr. Why is so much Gallows of Creek a good all American I see town. about American politics? Help it's so one v one. Like most of the time is spent bringing the Creek. other candidate down. No, that's Gallows like so Jr. uncommon in other places in the world. Like that's not a Gallows thing here Creek. at all. I approve this message. Like here, people God, talk about what they will do 100%. instead of asshole. what the other one Belinda won't do. Belinda Cartwright isn't super herself, but it's she's very not... weird to me. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Play Creek High. Uh, oh. Of course, he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's yeah, just get back to the show. I want to play. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Oh, boy. Here we go. Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Uh -oh. and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. <laughs> Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Uh oh. I am 911. <laughs> I am 911. At least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. They're fucking Sheriff dead. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? I am the law. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. We're on air. <laughs> We're live on air. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. <laughs> live on... Damn it. All right. Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said the voice acting is so good. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the Whistling Man. Uh oh. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Uh, I don't think it's a teen. You don't <clears throat> understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But it's a throwing speed is terror inconsistent. 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Oh, okay, upstairs. here we go. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. This thing on? And there's a set in the boardroom. Uh... If you can take the... Can you get out of here? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah. I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I will that help you. That trash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. Okay. But what? All we can do from here is... Maybe if we play Forrest, the radio. I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, oh, right? Baby. In different rooms with different extensions. Genius. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Okay. Uh, and buy yes, and get an exclusive interview with the killer. And buy Maurice time. 
That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, You're right? Insane. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. <clears throat> Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Oh, music time. Time for another ad. <laughs> oh, here we go. What are you doing? You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. You would hear a scream. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Oh. Don't let me down. Okay, fax machine. I know that was here. There's still more to do before. I, the fax machine was right there. Okay. Uh, where's the fax machine? I'll go pick up the I'll map. Go pick then. up that map then. Go, Forrest. Yes. The fax machine's in the office. I on know. The other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. I know. Why are you holding me back? Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Right here. This not the. This is this is a printer. I thought it was also a fax machine. <laughs> Whoops. Where is it? Where's the fax machine? Where is it? This is not a fax machine. Jesus Christ, that's bright. Is it? This oh, it is this. It. Never mind. It is this. Here we go. Okay. Wait. He actually drew this thing just now. He's insane with it. Dude, it's a printer, scanner, fax machine. That's some insane shit. Okay, place it down there. I got you. Wait. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I did. Yes, I have. I lost it. Okay. Mr. Russell? Where you, are uh, you? You still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yes, I did. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage hey, Don't flame that. me. I have your life okay, in my folks, hands. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him. <laughs> I, love, the I love how we're yes, literally situation. broadcasting this the so the whistling man, man can listen to this. Okay, wait. Now never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my office. End, office space? Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number <clears throat> and then move Maurice somewhere safe. Okay. So, what extension should I call? So, he walked all the way to the boardroom and then went into the office, right? So, we call the boardroom? Or do we call the... Where the fuck is this guy? Where is he? So, we could call the... I'm assuming the boardroom would call... No, that's where he is. Wait, that's where the fax is. Never mind. That would be stupid. Okay. So he checked all the doors up to... Yeah, okay. Off so he is in the office, so we want to call him away. So we call to the editor. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I think. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Um. Go to the kitchen. You want to leave through the... Through the stairs, right? This one goes down. The stairs go down. So you go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh-oh. Go gonna somewhere get him killed. he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Here we go. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. <laughs> The whistling. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Uh oh. Good plan. You can thank me. Good plan, Peggy. Wait, what? It was all Peggy's idea. Try but to it's go working. to her. Uh, don't mention it. Okay, we did. Coast is clear. Okay. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. Let's see. I'll call when I get there. Okay. Do you think he'll make it Why okay? don't you just make it down sure the stairs already? But now what do we do? We gotta find this reminds some way me of the that past that barricade. game called Interference. Do like, I, don't think I mean, I guess it was the other way around, but it really is very similar. Those cabinets. 
We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. Already? Ready? Okay, he's, he's safe. He's probably alive. Hopefully, maybe. Yes, I am. Ready as I'll ever Ready be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. The stairs are blocked? Oh. Wait, where are we supposed to go then? How the fuck is he gonna leave? There's no exit. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review There's no exit. So, the only way out is by the stairs. Oh, see? Which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Oh, okay. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. I see. Not quickly or quietly. Okay. Maybe play dead. And you lock him in a room. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time. What if enough, we get him right? to the toilet? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Oh. He'd be able to get out just as soon as. Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. I see. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy That's through the editors. Outer space. Right? Now's not the time. Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. Yes. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. Okay. He can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. There's no phone. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Their TV in there, user radio. Their TV. There's probably TV, right? Or use. I think we use Maybe a radio. We could use a radio. There's no radio. What? In the secret <laughs> Is there TV though? Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office. Oh, uh, here but... we go. What is it? A sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio. He okay. never turns off. Um, I hope he's in that one. need to ask. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only late night calling show. Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self advertisement <laughs> from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty for us. Oh my That's god. Low. Will you idiots focus now? Hey! His portable radio should still be here. It should be in the archives, okay. actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back. Okay, we did I a good job radio. calling him to the editor's thingy. But now we need to call him away there. We're save him, Forrest. Let's go. Heck, if this Rude, works, let him die. save the whole town. <laughs> Let's make it happen. We're close. Let's make it happen. Let's play some fucking ads. Let's fail? go. I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Sir. Nash, are you there? Sure. Hello? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. Oh, let's go. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. No! Oh, turn the volume Maurice, down. Turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you <laughs> yelled at me. <laughs> of course. He's gonna die. The radio works! If I make it scream. alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. He's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. We can turn it on. We can be quiet. But wait, we're, we're the, radio. the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. <laughs> that's so if funny. That, then... We yeah. can just be quiet. 
Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. No, sound but after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, okay. I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? To the boardroom? Call the boardroom. The extension <clears throat> is 04. That might work. The boardroom the is fairly close to the editor's yeah, office. Yeah, that's true. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? We could do the... Nah. We could do we kitchen. That's again. really far away. Call the kitchen. The extension is 02. That could work. The kitchen is far away from the editor's office, but the killer searched it before. Are you sure? Oh. No, we're in the archives. Let's do boardroom then. I think we do boardroom. Is, well, how is he gonna make a bunch of noise? Yeah, let's do, let's do, let's do boardroom. Let me have a think again. Let's do boardroom. Archives is stupid as hell. Call the boardroom. That's where he the is. Extension is zero four. That might work. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already said that. close to the editor's office. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. Uh oh. I love how we have we're hacked into the mainframe. Swissly. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Okay. Now Looks we need. Looks like to... we're almost through this nightmare. Be quiet. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll impersonate. I'll call the killer and Jack. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell Don't impression? Don't forget the volume. I think I gave that mask freak a slip. What a great plan this is, Carl. Uh, oh, I'll God. give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. We can. The radio oh. set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal. I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is. Hmm. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. They are really far away. Your judgment has kept I, alive so, so far. I would Nash. say the cabinet then. What do you reckon? Obviously not the cubicles because we don't have the time because he's going to be there. Uh, You could hide in the cabinet. Under the desk, we're just going to get spotted. Let's hide in the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. Mm. All right. Well, we got this. this. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. I've turned everything off. Don't say anything. Until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust I us. I turned everything Here down. We go. Okay. Haps microphone. <laughs> smack smack. I, I'm not gonna do it just in case it's gonna like I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! Oh. I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh no. What the fuck? Oh no. Gonna check the cabinet. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And. If you've just tuned in... <laughs> See you in hell, kid! We let's just go. locked up the Whistling Man. Hey, let's go! Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that! You gotta that run, though! Go work. fast! Go, go, go! <laughs> Peggy, Peggy, if like... If I'm being honest, I hypers, can't believe it either. Hypers Thank emote. God, it's over. <laughs> I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few friends. I'd feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the K-9. 
Gallo's reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. You gotta go, though. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. Oh, baby. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer oh, tunes. Oh, baby. New tunes? We're gonna do hang up the hang ups. I got a achievement called Game Over. What do you mean, Game Over? Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Looks like the night oh, should baby. be pretty easy from here Are on Are you out. kidding me? We right. won the game? <laughs> Thank God that's over. No way. I guess we got some downtime now. I could They're ask you some us. questions to kill the time. Oh, You're going to interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. Max, Max? Okay. Oh, God. It's so loud. What do you want to know? I uh, Maybe a lot. What do you want to know? All right. Shoot. What do you want to know? We did insanely Question well. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Uh-oh. Nope. No, that's We're not on specific. air right now. Too specific? I... So they're not hearing us. Do you have any siblings? <laughs> I don't. I'm an only Do you child have any? and my folks are dead. Oh, oh Jesus. sorry, Forrest. Jesus. Bummer. Uh, why did you do it? That's so fucked up. <laughs> what a way to sell. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. <laughs> did anyway, you do it? <laughs> what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same oh. way as yours. Uh, oh, what a coincidence. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been oh, no. a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. Dude, I'm she was married us? pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, You're Mr. Weaver yourself? got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. Peg, I'm she's the killer's daughter. Dun, dun, dun. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Her real I last name is the killer's last dad. name? Uh-oh. I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Here someone we go. just rang the door buzzer. Oh. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K-Fam regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Oh, here we go. Gee, thanks, Peggy. <sighs> Gee, thanks, Peggy. Peggy, dude, you got so much stuff the back there. on the front door. See you in a bit. Alrighty. Buzzers on the front. Hey, here, you pass me the key. Thank okay. you. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Ah. Uh -huh. Elf's gonna. The killer's gonna break in here now. Okay, we need to go down. Are we on the upper floor? I'm not getting in there tonight. Oh. Did we got some random. <laughs> Acoustic foam. Uh, we can't. Is this? Can we go down here? Yeah. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this place. This place is massive. How many little things? One eight nine sixteen. The scream. Right, I'm just checking around. We got more of these. How <laughs> do you got so many phones? Phone writers. We only had like ten records. Oh, what's this? A tape play on uh oh air. we're gonna it's gonna be the killer it's gonna be like can i hit myself with this wait a minute i can pick this up and take it with me that seems a bit silly i'm taking it i'm taking the mouse trap maybe we'll get to kill the killer with it what the hell is out here rock gallons for life genie carries friendship quiz most likely to peak. Excuse me? 
What happened? What the fuck was that sound? I was just reading shit, man. Most likely to... Okay, I see. There's just a friendship quest. Drop it on the ground. Yeah, so much detail. I want to read it all. Please stop putting stickers on the office furniture. You're lowering the resale value of everything, <laughs> Reggie. Okay, run, run, run. Get out of here before we get killed. I thought that was your chair falling apart. Okay, I got a tape. I don't know if this is going to be smart to play on air. But we're going to try. Okay, take that shit out. Just throw it with the rest. Okay, here we go. Are we on air? Do we, I should probably talk to you, yeah? Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, Th that doesn't seem very responsible, Peggy. <laughs> yeah, that's your response, really? Play the mysterious tape on air? Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lives. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. Excuse me? I did not enjoy that. Uh oh. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Be careful. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Uh -oh. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get <laughs> us on 911. 189.60. Oh boy. Oh. You <laughs> can get us on 911. Maybe further time. Okay. Hey, we had a call come in. Uh huh. I see. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with. Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! Uh oh. The whistling man is gone! How? How? He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies, and we came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. Door was shut, just as I left it. Oh. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Uh, did you let him escape? Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand <laughs> you retract that accusation. Then what happened? Damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. Of the course. guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then... Then nothing. The room uh -huh. was empty. Uh oh. The door was still locked. How the hell it did was he get not out? gonna be that easy. Are you sure? It was we have already saved two people I'm for sure. You, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then Uh he's a ghost. He's gotta be a revenant. Do you think he's some kind of ghost? Don't be ridiculous. Don't. Be ridiculous, Peggy. It would explain things. I mean, Maybe how he do you know he's not? Mooney, there's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Baloney. <laughs> I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. Uh -oh. He seems really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial on killer air. who turned out to be a demonic spirit? Peggy. He's not a demon, Peggy. It's clearly yeah, a wraith if right. he's teleporting, fucking dumbass. Obviously not a demon. <laughs> Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful you tip. You just gotta get the some salt. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. 
will remove her from the suspect <laughs> list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. Okay. All we'll right, play folks. We need to take a quick break. This one was amazing. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Crying for help. <laughs> You're going to love this next track. <laughs> All right, Peggy, what's up? I love this one. I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Okay. Crying for Help might be my favorite one of them all. It's so good. Oh, okay. I, here we go. It's so wet here. Can I just slip? All right, I'm being creepy. Knock, knock. Guess who? Here we go. Got so many tapes. What if we just play that one again? Alrighty, turn on the music. And then play. Or try your call again. Ugh, straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? Should I, should I, I should probably do this first. Alright, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. Okay. It's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Okay. Purple is Reggie's angry color. <laughs> he only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. What? <laughs> he's got an angry color? He has an angry color? <laughs> oh, Forrest. I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. The Reggie rundown. Right now, we need to play that tape. What's your angry color, Chad? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, Gina Franklin, I'm calling because Just... your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest Red. single, the kind of honor That's you've standard, never though. had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you all right? Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. Oh. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Uh-oh. It's Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? Uh, we are old friends. Big Roddy fan? Are you a big fan of Roddy? <laughs> I love Roddy! I will always find you was my <laughs> What song. are these ominous song names? Still had it in rotation. Final breath, I oh will always God. find I you. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. <laughs> and I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where uh -oh. is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. We need it. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication... <laughs> Folks this next Cape single is gonna be I'm outside your door. <laughs> I think we're still missing a I few am tracks, watching actually. you sleep. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay, go, go, go. Gina's gonna be real angry. I wanna hear this song. This better be a good one. I mean, the music so far has been incredible in this game, so I don't see how it can't be. Uh, it's gonna be in here. Is it? Here you got so many cats. Oh no, you got one of those naked cats. Those weirdo cats. What is this? It's all about the he said, she said, babe. What is happening? Barb? Oh, here we go. What is this? Throw that shit away. Barb, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends though. Brad. Yes, you owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Damn, dude. Savage. Okay. Uh, I, go. I need a key to get in there. Uh, did you throw it away? Wait, we got a... What the hell? This is a freaking game. I'll throw it on the ground. Maybe we need it later. Anything in the trap? Oh, there. Final this breath. Be it. Final breath. Nice. My tiny selection grows. Okay. From below it game. From below it game. What? 
Vertigo Weekly. Die alone, dude. Everything is so ominous. What are you doing in here? Alright, we got a new song. What? Did I read it wrong? It came. Oh, whoops. I thought it was game. That would have been way better. From below it game. <laughs> What's this song? Gotta be all the way at the back. Oh, it's on. It's alphabetical. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, wait. I need to fucking talk to you first. Hey, did you get it? Yes. Got it. Let's get this on the air. Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British <clears throat> sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. This is gonna be terrible. <laughs> wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. Nothing is happening. And more though. importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. What the, that said? This, <laughs> what the hell is happening? I heard like five seconds. I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. We want to listen to the song though, god damn it. Evening, Angry, caller. thank you for the this 20. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy. <laughs> Hello. What is this Murphy, accent? Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Happy birthday. Free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. What's I learned this fucking how to accent. Live, how to laugh. Most importantly, how to love. Of course. Aww, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting wow, the to this so called killer. You think you're tough, huh? <laughs> big man with a big knife, huh? Ruin. Huh? Come face me. A true warrior. Oh no. Gallows waste disposal plant. Guess what? Murphy, no. This is a bad idea, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. <laughs> Excuse me. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh no. <sighs> And there he goes. <laughs> he Ladies and gentlemen, noises. keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown He's got hero. the dog in him. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Oh, we get another commercial. Which one have we not played yet? We have not. I don't think we played this one. The yin yang one. Here we go. Very important. What if we play the private tape? Do what? you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Double your power? To unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99. Then step into Master <laughs> How fitting, how Dojo fitting. <laughs> he was just talking about this. Warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. <laughs> You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom oh of the bullfrog. Using classified <laughs> techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Permit. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861 USA to take your first step. Please say thank you for the gift sub. Oh boy. That was amazing. That's way better. Incredible. Alright, uh, next song. We we need to listen to this damn song. It's so simple. I like that they didn't do vocals on the song. Yes, thank you for the gift subs. What the hell's going on? Okay. 
I still got it. No, I don't have it. This is it. I mean, it's... It's like one of... The, it's like... Corporate background music, basically. Say thank you for the 12. Have you ever had a problem that you needed fixing? Well, let's seek no further, because we got the mop... 2069 <laughs> it's like it's actually just that now for only 24.99 so we're gonna need to let people around we need to get familiar with this map but we probably will have time to get familiar i'm glad so far they haven't like done the thing where you like in these type of games so often they will like revert to having a time limit to make drama i'm glad that they don't do that here and they just let you like actually like use your brain they're probably gonna do it later with this song though <laughs> oh my god i mean all of the music in this game is pretty solid this one definitely my favorite it's only six bucks. The late night. Did we even play the late night lurkers? We played Stab in the Night. I don't know if you played late night lurkers. Did we play Storm Rider? I don't know if we did. Featuring the 1984 hit Let Me Go. The hang ups. Okay, that's pretty solid. Let's see. Did I play this one? Oh, here we go. Produce a song. I did. Sounds pretty familiar. Is there a caller? Am I doing something? Call you. I already played it. Did I not do an ad? Did I not do ads enough? Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The tornado technique and <laughs> what the fuck, me. dude. I didn't finish it. <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> okay, that truly really was the element of surprise. Really kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but <laughs> I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is something. Uh, 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 <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. <laughs> that was really cool. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show <laughs> moving along with our next caller. Here we go. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. 189.16. <laughs> Who's there? Who is this? <laughs> so fucked up. Are you okay? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? Uh oh. That horrible whistling. The caller is coming from inside the building. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, caller. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? Yep. So. I did. We sure did. You're in safe hands. <laughs> what would you say if you okay. didn't? Okay. We're gonna the help you. Genocide run, name, killer caller? frequency. I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Wasn't that the Sorry. name from the person in glass, Interference? Virginia. They were called Virginia okay. as well. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? Can you run away? Can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Uh-oh. She's a little scared. Can you run away? Can you run out back? No. What if he's outside? Waiting for me? Oh, Why would God. you call a neighbor? What's the... Is there a neighbor you can okay. call No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You I'm insane with this. Dude, I've hit it like camps. four times in a row. Holy shit. And I'm about to get... Oh, oh God. Virginia, I'm distracted. what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't. 
any idea what the Calm frat might down. be, Peggy. If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message <laughs> to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout take from? Takeout to the frat. I don't know. Uh, try to... Don't be a child! What the... the... Don't worry. Uh, don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this! Is it the grilling thing? Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. The Brian Ponty from Ponty's Pizza. Oh, uh, music? Music for a midnight snack? Uh, which one? Late Night Lurkers we already played. Did I play the hangups? Here comes one of my favorites. Oh, wait, I already played Peggy, this one. What places do take I'm out the this one. Off the top of my head? Uh, well... I mean, we've already there's played the barbecue all of them. place, Grilling Spree, and you can <laughs> order from spree. Chalupa Cabras. Chalupa Cabras? Oh, I and of course we have Ponty's Pizza. That's, what, fuck that's it, I think. <laughs> what a name. Uh, let's get calling. All right. Chalupa we'll Cabras. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's uh, not going to work. Take the funniest out client game of privilege. all time. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, Yes. place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? <laughs> They're gonna not be like, pieces of shit. Better get to it. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. Oh, any baby. suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. Oh, the grill and thing. Maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Okay, wait, new key? You also have the grill thing, though. Oh God, where to start? Okay, lots of stuff. Would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy. Have area reception? Oh, a food I critic, see. Right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... Chad or Brad? Oh, God. <sighs> I just have to look around. Yeah, let's check down here. Because we already found the grilling spree one. That's probably going to include the number in the, like, the commercial tape. So we'll be fine there. But we need to find the others because that one's probably too easy. Uh, what is this music? Excuse me. Oh, can we play the video game? It's going to be out of order, isn't it? Out of order. Check back with me tomorrow. God damn it. Oh, the radio's on here. It's actually playing the song. Okay. Uh... Megabyte, the future is now. Died alone. What is this? Oh, here. From below it came. From below it came. I don't know why I read game there before. This is just, this is just, uh, Ipsum or something, I think. Yeah, <laughs> Lorem Ipsum, dude. On the first night of filming, I screamed so loud, somebody called the local police. I gave them an autograph and we continued the shoot. It was so crazy. From below, it get, hey, you guys are naughty. Go girls high, I guess. Dude, big game. They win. <clears throat> Have them work. This Seven days? Can we play this? Can I put this in? It's broken. Dang it. I wanted to play it and then die. Okay. Uh, we need to look around. Is there another music? Nice. Thing? New music to play. Nice. Okay. So you can find music. We should look around. That's cool. We have no more music. What's down here? Oh, another mouse trap. Uh, I'm lost in the sauce. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Fridge, maybe? There's just some beer in the fridge and some milk, some open milk. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah, let's just check. Let's just check further along. Do not see it. Oh, yeah, there's this. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay. I don't know. Do we need this? Is this going to have something on the back? A number? Dude, what is this? Gallows Creek Chili Cook-Off Championship. Look at that trophy. Okay. So that's something. I don't know if that's going to help us. And then we have Ponty's Pizza here as well. A promotion, huh? Aha. Maybe if I find the pizza box. Oh, uh, okay. So now we need to look for a pizza box. And then we have this one. The rancheros are just excellent. Okay, we're looking for a pizza box. I see slowly but surely we're figuring it out. 
Oh, there it is. Rooting through Aha. cash. This is a new low. I Ooh. see. Interesting offer. Okay. Let's just see if we can call. Maybe we have to find them all. But let, let's just try and see if we can call. Because we have the number for the grill thing. And we have this number. is literally right on there. Yeah, I, I could go for some pizza. Uh, you get a... Like almost three quarter pizza plus a drink. For very little money. Okay, let's see. Uh, you guys are still listening to this damn music. Um, let's play the grill thing. Where's the grill thing? Grilling so spree. I better see what's on this table. Aha, here we go. Okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. I'm just throwing everything on the ground. And we got a new song that we should listen to in a sec. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab it? Oh, the here. This... Hey, your thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. Fear not. A grilling spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins this Tuesday. Say what? Peggy will just say, like, have you found something? Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Dallas High wins. A free six pack? This is going to have the number in it. Just give me a second. Six right? beers. If Gallo's High wins. Which Gallo High did win. <laughs> I hope we... And they won, so they, they're probably gonna call it. Me too, Billy. Me too. They definitely ordered the beer, Come right? Here we go. Five, 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 four, nine, eight, three, three, five. That's such we a confusing for number. Die for. You would you should com you should repeat that number. A okay. Free six pack. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. Spare ribs. Christ. Okay. Um. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I did. Yes, I am ready. Am I ready? I got two numbers, but I don't have the number for the pizza thing. I think we got some numbers. Let's yes, I have. They're definitely gonna That's call the great. grill place, right? Are you ready to get back on the line? We don't have one of the places, but I don't know where I... Because we don't have the chupacabra. Chalupacabra thing. Let's just go. What's the worst Let's that could happen? Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. It's already off. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? We're gonna call grilling spree, obviously. Call grilling spree. Okay. They're gonna go for the free six-pack. Six pack. The Grill Reaper is on the They'd line. They'd be stupid as hell if they're not. Okay. Do I say something? You're through to Grilling Spree. We've got barbecue. You'll You're here. through? Frat man calling. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, can I just have your order? I want ribs. Big ribs for my frat house, brothers. Right. And where'd you want that uh -oh. delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Same address. All right, we'll get it to you soon. Oh, and, and one more Let's thing. Let's go, work. <laughs> Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? A note? Okay, you better tip for this. <laughs> oh no, we're fucking them over. And now we It wait. works. We should put a song on. First try, Agreed. put on the new song. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Here we go, new one. This is I'm coming to get you by Vice. <laughs> of course, One of the it best is. tunes this year. Oh, baby. No, I want to listen to the fucking song. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Which of the takeout oh, places go. would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Equally good if you have to pick. Sure, but. <laughs> If you had to pick one. It's a good one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. <laughs> so between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... <laughs> Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Oh, here we go. I want us to listen to the music drum more. We'll play that one again. Collar. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh, this is Dudley from the Rebelly Fraternity of Engineers. 
Um, I have a note to call you. I can hey, hear his glasses. <laughs> But you aren't the only ones on your street tonight, are you? <laughs> no, sir. Uh, I think everyone on the street is in tonight. Uh, yeppers. Uh, I just visually confirmed it. Uh, I see cars in the driveways. And a couple of lights on. Uh, everyone's in. Yeah. Um, Yepper. And you've not been throwing a loud party on that, have you? I certainly hope we haven't disturbed our neighbors. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Yeppers. Forrest? We have a new call coming oh, in. Oh, man. <laughs> Forrest, line oh, two. Line two? Hello. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Forrest, The Scream, it's the whistling man. Oh, oh no. He's at the door. He's... Oh, my God. It's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk. What? She's just getting stabbed over and over. What? Uh oh. I guess the takeout here is. Wait, what? Wait, she fucking died. I guess the takeout here is to die for. Forrest, what the hell? That, that doesn't even make sense. I'm swinging a miss. To everyone listening, I know things look oh, bad, man. but please don't lose faith. Oh, no. We will stop this whistling man. We and I think Virginia Wait, may have just I, given us the clue we need. What, what did I do wrong? Wait, I'm so confused. Talk. Called the wrong place? You know How was it There's the wrong place? They had free beer! Place. This fucking but frat house didn't call the place giving out free mind. beer? What's right, wrong folks. with you guys? Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. You're in insane. Looks like we have another caller. It might be underage. Anyway, well, she's fucking Hello, dead. Caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Clive? What's with Clive? Yeah. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. It's fucking goofy. As a local small business owner, oh, I oh, oh. find this oh, oh. all horrifying. That's the fucking... A killer roaming it's goofy, the streets dude. of our fair town. Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. <laughs> this is fucking dialogue is so funny. The voice acting is great. Good for you, friend. <clears throat> oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion. But, uh, since you ask, it's party pizza! <laughs> the best and only pizza place in town! Fuck you, party! Get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, party! No! No free ads! Party, dang it! <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if we called Ponty's instead. God damn, Ponty's! He's gone now. We already have somebody else on no! the No! Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. They get free beer. For every point that Gallo High wins, you get free. Oh no! They get eight beers from this place. Oh no! <laughs> of course. Hey, big shot. It was Hit a math button. puzzle. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it was so obvious. Anyway. Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash. Because they Post won by eight points. Point sixteen. <laughs> the scream. And tonight's nine one one stand-in. Hello? That was fun though. Am I on air? <laughs> sure, our caller. What's your name? Don't be what did you get for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of oh, the no. maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. Oh my god. You got a special lady <laughs> coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. Eugene, please. <laughs> we planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. Maze maze? To take our first journey together into the love Oh labyrinth. no. The maze puzzle. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? 
Yes, that's why I'm calling. Oh my god. Go home to your parents. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. <laughs> she came after uh -oh. all. Molly! No! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh... Oh, no, what an forest. idiot. It's been good talking. Gonna hear the whistle? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, wait a second. <clears throat> Molly can't whistle. Uh oh No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst. Oh, no. Uh, do you know the way out? Eugene? Do you know the way out? We know out? the way out. We can it find the maze. It would be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. She's right. I... Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Okay. Hide, and call yes. back in a minute. Yes, we know this. Get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Oh, no. Okay. This is fine. We know. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, <clears throat> here's a track for all you lovers out there. For all you lovers out there? What's the lover song? Uh, I, uh, uh, late night lurkers, <laughs> storm riders. That's a pretty yes, yes. Storm riders. Here we go. Oh baby, let's go. Okay. Oh come on, stop. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze, maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a Maze Maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. She was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed This music's her. good. <clears throat> uh, maybe we should... We can find Why it! Why she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates? Yeah, we need to find maze? the thing, the maze. A lot of folks do. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. Okay. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Mm. Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. You're, you're the worst. Reception, never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right. Yeah. Sorry. I guess it's just the stress of. No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Okay. Here. Finally, it let us out. We already knew the answer to this, because we already picked it up. Okay. We literally threw this on the floor. It's probably gonna be back in the trash can though. Oh, there it is. Boom. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Okay, let's go. Where are we? Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. This one's gonna be fine. I still can't believe we didn't we didn't figure out the, the bigger thing. <laughs> Maybe it would have been the other one. The Lupa Cabras anyway. Correct. Okay. I got it. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Never mind. It because Brad right broke up with her. That's, a question for later. <laughs> That's why. Eugene called while you were away. It's He's the on line breakup one. note, remember? Oh, of course. <laughs> when you're ready, shut the music off. <clears throat> okay. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers 16. like that track. And I hope we can Scream. help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. Forest. That's a loud I whistle, dude. Ran, That's I, powerful I whistle. I I'm at a crossroad. Jesus. A tractor statue. <clears throat> there are hate okay. painted gold on my right. Okay. Okay. Hay bills painted gold on my on his right. He just passed the tractor statue. The hay bills painted gold on my right. Huh? Oh, you can go through these. Is that what's going on here? Wait, how do we know where he is? He is facing the tractor statue, but how could he be facing the statue if the hay bales are on his... He is one facing this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. 
Wait, so we want to get him out, right? So we want to get him out here? He's at a crossroads facing a tractor statue. Gold hay bales to his right. Okay. So we want him to go right. He needs to not go to the middle, right? But the whistler also came from the entrance. Oh, that is true. Okay, that's true. Wait, why do you guys want him to go left? I don't understand this maze. Oh, I'm doing stupid. I was, for some reason, <laughs> I don't know why, for some reason I thought the green was the path, but the or <laughs> the yellow is the path. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was like, how is this supposed to work? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, I see. Okay, that was makes sense. Okay, I don't know why that took me so long. Okay, so where where's the killer coming from? <clears throat> the killer came from the entrance, right? Because it just came in. We need to make sure he's not going to get stuck in a dead end. So if we send you this way, you're gonna like, you're gonna be able to go this way, this way and out. I don't understand. Go fucking forward. I don't. He builds to your right. Let's go left. Go left. So you get up, right? He goes up. Okay. Okay. Left and try to right. Then try a right. I have a pig statue in front of me. Oh it, yeah, let's go. It works. Horse on my left. Okay. Um, a realistic horse statue. He has a pig statue in front of him, and okay, so he's looking this way now. So do we need to get him out? We do need to get him out, right? So he needs to go all the way through here to get out. Because this is a dead end. So he needs to go. He's looking this way with a re realistic horse. I should need to go backwards. Go backwards. Oh, yes. Why didn't I just fight you want him to go? He's gonna go here now. I'm at a crossroads. <clears throat> okay. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Oh. There's a, just go go left. Go left. Oh, yes. We're trying to get him out, right? <laughs> oh, he's chainsawing through the maze. Is that what's happening? Uh, there's a tiny barn in front of me and a scarecrow behind me. I need barn. To my sides. Okay, so you go right here. Go right. Go right. Okay. This way. Can't run much more. Uh, I just passed a cordon silo. Oh. Didn't see anything else. You just passed the cordon silo. You need to go backwards. Please. Oh no, you just passed it this way. Never Where mind. Wait, go? did you? Wait, oh, oh, oh. Wait. So he came from here and he went, which way did he go? Did he go this way and pass this way? Or did he go this way and pass that way? I'm assuming he went this way and pass this way. So we just need to get him to go forward. So we need to make him to, yeah, I think we keep going forward, but it's a little confusing. Go forward. Okay, <clears throat> here I go. This, uh, uh -oh. doesn't look right. No, no, I'm going back to where I was. Okay. We only have a few mistakes. Jesus. Oh, shit. He's cutting through the walls. So we, he is right here on this crossroad. He's right on this crossroad. So we make him... I don't know. I don't know which... Okay, he must have just passed it. So it's got to be right over here. He's on this crossroads. We go right. Go right. That's got to be the way. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, let's go! Uh, I'm out! And my bike's still here! Oh, <laughs> Let's go! We live! We thank you, we Save them! I love you, Molly! <laughs> <laughs> that was... tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Shame the maze maze got all cut up. Yeah, better it than Eugene, though. By the way... Why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Uh -oh. Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. 
Well, it's 1.49 a.m. It's getting closer to 3 a.m. The spooky hour. Well, thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive <laughs> to stay alive. Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. What? <laughs> report a Clive to stay Collar, alive. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Wonderful show tonight. I hate that it doesn't just do the short one every time. It sucks that it does the like it's alternates between the short one and the long one. I wish I could just have a, one of the buttons that always does the short one. This is my main complaint about the game so far. Uh, anyway, what did you just say? I'm just gonna say thank you, thank you. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forest? Your tune. Sure. What is it? Long ride home. That old song. Sure. We got it. Did I we? think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Is this it? Which one? Where right, do we... folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. Oh. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but... Uh, we what don't happened? have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. Why? You threw it in the trash? No, I... I threw it out the window earlier today. What? Why? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Oh. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. What do we do then? <laughs> All right, so, uh, what do we do instead then? Not damn Brad, Brad sucks. Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks, here comes some unrequested music. <laughs> Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll play more of the, this song because I really like this one. I want to listen more of this one. <laughs> You'll like this next song. I like it. That was good too. Oh yeah. <laughs> all the songs to request. Why did it have to be that one? This many you think of the three months. What barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat. Now I want to listen to the song. Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. God damn it. Why is everyone calling? I'm listening to the music. Oh. This one's so good. The lines lit up. I need to take the call. But the song, though. Okay, whatever. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nath. <laughs> Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. <laughs> Murphy. Why can't I turn this down? What is, why is the fucking thing broken? I was going to turn it off so I could dial through the, sh the long one so I could get the short one again, but it's fucking broken. Anyway, what's going on? Hello again, Mr. Jojo. <laughs> no, hello again. Hey, what, uh, what brings you back? Oh, the killer got me, man. Oh, no. I, uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master <laughs> Robin? Oh, I no. Warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. You did. Goddamn piece of. You came to the oh, Murphy. disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight, but. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. goddamn! I smell smoke. I think uh -oh. he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Call 911. Get yourself on the phone. Hey, get the fire department <clears throat> on the line. On it. All right. Now just. Jesus. Come on, pick up. So loud. Hi. 
Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the gallows waste disposal plant. Shit's so broke. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Oh my Why god. Why is there no backup vehicle? He... Oh, god damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Cut they can't more. do anything. Oh my god. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Okay. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Okay. Really old. Okay. The waste disposal's right out, there. See who would be best to do this. Okay, can I can you fucking repeat? Okay, so we have the gallows waste disposal right here. We have Myers Lane, but they're really old. But that, that that's this person who's really close. The fire department need more funding. Okay, t talk to me again. All right, Forrest, who should I call? <clears throat> hey, who repeat. can help Murphy? Repeat. Where is Murphy again? Forrest, really? He just told us he's at the gallows. Yeah, I know, but where are your friends? Me? Okay, okay, sorry, I forgot. Wait, huh? Haddonfield and Myers. Uh, yeah, okay, I know they're they're references. Oh, it just says it's on the post-it note. Okay, here. Okay, here. Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road. Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. Okay. So that's extremely close. So you live right there. That's crazy. Okay. Catherine lives at the end of West End of Myers Lane. So that's two that's further. Old man Jericho lives at the east end of Myers Lane, which is close, but I feel like this is better. Oh, the traffic notes? Yeah, let's see. East East side McCready Street will be closed. Where's that? Oh, east side. Oh, God. So you can't go this way. Fuck. So I'm guessing you're better. So the old man would be... Fire department, get more fire engines. It would have to be either... So it can't be you because this is blocked, right? This road is blocked. The east part is blocked off. Yes. Okay, so that's not it. <clears throat> Residents will be unable to to access the connecting roads between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Okay. So that's exactly the one that we need. Um, so we can either go for far away. Why would the old man not be fit for it, though? He, he just got to open a door. I guess we'll do Catherine. Sure, we'll do Catherine. Let's send Catherine. All right, Forrest. Who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Catherine. Call Catherine. All right. Give me a second. Here we go. He's slow, that's true. <clears throat> Look at this throw. Gonna go crazy mode? They're on the way. Oh, They'll right. call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Okay. El Cookie Man, give the gift sub. Call coming in. It's Catherine. Okay. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Nice. Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? Oh, damn things up in smoke. I... Uh oh. God damn it! I'm going in. <gasps> oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes sting. People, get low to the ground. Uh. Catherine, waste disposal. Wait, what? Wait, where was he? Was he in waste disposal? He is in the waste thing. He is in the waste disposal. Go to waste oh, disposal. Oh, Cookie Man, give the five gift subs. He said he was in a dumpster. Okay, I'm here. I... Uh oh. Forest. Coming down. I gotta go. Forest. Uh oh. Listen. They're both dead. <laughs> Why would she go in there? Give him a message. No! I will, what is it? <laughs> I will. What is it? Uh oh. Tell him to... Tell him to study Kung Fu from a real master. What a fucking way to end. <laughs> Go kick master Robbie's head! <laughs> 
God, Murphy. Poor Fernando is going to be crushed. Oh, man. All right, it's fine. <laughs> Just like it's that. Yeah, <laughs> Fernando will be crushed. Just like his dad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> poor kid. Horace, that... I wasn't trying to set you up for a punchline. No, I know. He said personal uh, storage. It's fine. Movie. It like the, promise we it doesn't seem like it matters much who lives you. or dies. I and just want to have fun. Peggy, it's going to be our. Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Scream. Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers He's are fucking... with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this. It's a. Uh... Oh, it's Mayor O'Candidate and Sion exactly. of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Yeah, how about. Okay, Teddy. We. <laughs> I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. <laughs> you're a prick, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, stop. Teddy, this isn't the time for your political ads. Stop. I just want to make sure our yeah, town yeah, yeah. is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by Wait, my Wait, isn't that father, the thing that just... Theodore C. Gallows... It's literally just burned soul, to the ground. ...which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, <laughs> I'm cutting you off. <laughs> Did get wrecked. All you right. know what? Oh. I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? The Whistling Man? Your family's waste plan burned? The Whistling Man. Yeah, how about the goddamn serial killer? The problem is that woman, Oh my god. Mayor, Shut Linda up, Teddy. Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright what the, is unamerican, Cut the mic! Unstable, cut his mic! You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it- Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that <laughs> what? way. What? Cut him off, Peggy. Cut I his mic. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of- <laughs> And that's enough. Uh, Why could the middle whistling man kill that guy? I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. <laughs> Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. Oh, we'll be ad right time? Back after these messages. Okay, which one have I not played? Uh, the American one we played. Did we play this one? I don't know if we played the green one. I don't think we did. I think we did not play this one. Because we don't have another one. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Oh Chilet baby! Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, oh Jam, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. <laughs> we got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seats, bitten sand, licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. And fake tattoo, face painting, puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle. Pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, <laughs> and of course, have everything. Gord Measure Off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Myler, tragically taken from us last festival. Oh my god, that was so fucking good. I can good. see why it's world famous. <laughs> it's a highlight around here for us. Oh, dude. Oh, 
I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. That was so good. All right, good. folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh-oh. All right, let's actually try and save someone this time. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy on TV uh -oh. and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. We killed. The, we saved the majority God of people it. so far, but <laughs> we could have definitely outside. done better. I can see him from up here. God damn it! She's just a kid. Uh, can you fight back? Where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god. And then stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell uh. me, what's your name? And if you watch Robbie's karate tapes. Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Good, Harry. good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there, all right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom. I got the entrance closet. Oh, he's coming. Old murder? Where should I go? What? What's in the bathroom? Wait, what? Am I supposed to know what the fuck this place is? Old murder house upstairs. Wait, do we know the layout of this place? Go to the murder house. Uh, it's something you can lock. We should definitely go to the bathroom so you can lock the door, I would say. But I don't know if we... She's an old murder. I was expecting not to be murdered. You can lock a bathroom, but then he's gonna know, right? Definitely not bedroom. Bedroom is weird. It's either closet or ba bathroom. Closet would just be a good hide. Bathroom would be something you can lock and then you can go out the window. Not all bathrooms are lockable. Almost all of them are. Bedroom might have a window. Bathroom might have a window. This is like so random. I'm gonna say bathroom just so you can lock it. Go to the bathroom. Okay, I'll... I'm assuming you can lock a bathroom. That's like the most most normal thing. He's here. Oh my God. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest. I don't think we can... Run. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move! There's nothing... There's, there's no way she can outrun. Dude, they're just like speed running their deaths now. There's like... Oh no! Oh no! We have like no context to any of these choices! I don't understand! What was I supposed to do there? <laughs> I guess it's just supposed to be a game you replay multiple time. Like, I don't know what- there was no context to those choices at all. It was just like, choose or- Oh my god, you piece. <laughs> of course. What? You dickhole. What? Are you- Are you kidding me? <laughs> you dickhole. Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. It was just a prank, hand. Jimmy! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you From all doing? It's prank night, old 60. man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending oh to be Oh my god, man. Jimmy, you bet That's it. We get the choice to kill him. You're sick, Jimmy. <sighs> Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. What? It's whistling night. That little idiot. Fuck you, whistling Jimmy. Night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, who are you? Oh, no, man! Ah! 
Oh my god. Everyone, get inside. <laughs> He's fucking dead, dude. Run! Everyone, run! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because Jimmy fucking sucks! Suck it, Jimmy! As long as he's out there and we're in here, we're safe, right? You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Why are you in the murder oh, of house? Of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Oh no. I mean, Jimmy literally made this happen to himself. He did it to himself. Oh, she does care about Jimmy. I'm sorry about Jimmy. Okay, it's got. Focus. Focus. Stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Here we go. It worked. Sorry. Sorry. Jimmy sucks. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, <clears throat> shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Okay. Force, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... No, no, Chad. Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Of course. Uh, everything okay? No. We... Uh, do you need to kill her? We're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at. <laughs> I think we can figure out what to do. Everyone sucks. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. <laughs> We're gonna go to Genie's <gasps> thingy. These damn kids never learn. Okay. Uh, breathe, Peggy. It's okay. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. <sighs> yeah, Clive might be the killer. Every year, Forrest, people get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. Play some music. What are we We're gonna, gonna play? We got a way to save Carrie and Stab her friends. Stabbing a knight. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> Heaven the night. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. <laughs> Peggy, you this mentioned something about their fitting. friend working here? An intern? <laughs> yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds. I actually you know? like this one. Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. Uh -huh. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. I see. On Jeannie's desk. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Yes, but have we not checked already? In a dark corner. Oh, this dark corner over here, of course. Yeah, right here. Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. Jeannie's friendship and quiz. Carrie's friendship quiz. Okay. Wait, we saw that earlier. Okay, that might work. What's this? Good luck. I'm so proud of you. Make lots of friends and work hard. Lots of love, mom. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Excuse me. What the hell? Your mom sent you a card like that? That's kind of fuck. <laughs> Don't you dare fuck up. You love spooky movies, huh? Ax me again. It's ax. Ax me again. And... Acts 3 Final Decapitation. <laughs> Dude, I love that. It's a pizza number. Auntie's Pizza. Or pizza call this number. It's J plus J. Anyway. Genie plus Jimmy, maybe? Most likely to make... So there's just a friendship quiz. I don't know how this is going to help, though. How is this going to help us? How exactly is this gonna do something? Jeannie and Jimmy? We'll see. Oh, baby. The door's gonna close, right? I mean, I guess I'll close it. I like this song. Okay, here we go. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. 
If you think that'll help, then good enough. Jimmy isn't Carries even on hot, David. By the... What the fuck? Hot, David. Come on, man. Um. Okay, call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Gary, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. Okay. You want me to be the tiebreaker? I see. Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's going to be a hard climb. We're deciding Heather. to Heather, Kyle, <laughs> and Hot David. Heather! <laughs> Heather! Heather's got this. Yes, Heather. He picked you. <laughs> now, this is so stupid. I love it. Cheerleading trophies. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Escape from prison? Zach, Jennifer? Jennifer and Scott all want to do it. Jennifer? Jennifer. <sighs> Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? <laughs> Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting nice. the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Okay. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. This plan is long. <laughs> this plan is impressive. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need oh. a fast runner. An Olympic athlete? We're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. <laughs> his name is Hot David? Why is this his name? Uh, I'm guessing we'll do Hot David. <laughs> That's his name. Hot David. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you uh, do spend a lot of time running shirtless. What the fuck? You got this, Hot David. Hot David. Sweet. Okay. Let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Okay. Now the tricky part. The getaway? Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teams. So, let's use that against him. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Okay. Here you got we got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. What? Lisa, so wait, there's two questions we haven't used yet. There is most, so Tammy has the worst poker, is not very, so we don't want Cynthia, because Cynthia has a terrible poker face. Lisa doesn't have a poker face, or she's not included on that list. Tammy has apparently a bad poker face, or a good poker face, because it's like a, okay, we'll do Tammy. Yes. Tammy. Tammy, if you survive this, never do that British accent again. Your poker, That's your bad, po your bad poker face is bad, it's so it's a good poker Finally, face. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> we need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be? Who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia. Oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. I guess Jen. Wait, what? Wait. Most likely, this doesn't really matter. Olympic athlete. Seth is not on there. Most likely to end up in prison doesn't do anything. Most likely to escape prison is, is all tied. Well, Scott and Cynthia, I guess. And then I guess Scott also has a pretty good poker face. PTO. What is PTO? Eight time off? <laughs> like, oh, is there something on the back? Oh, <laughs> I see. I thought it was. Oh, please turn over. I thought it was. Pay, I thought it meant that Heather was having paid time off. I don't. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> it was. Please turn over. Okay. Uh, most likely to pass their driving test without errors. Jimmy, everyone. Most likely to win an Oscar. Most likely to beat everyone at go-karting. Scott. Okay, Scott. I guess it's going to be Scott if Jimmy is dead. <laughs> All right, we'll do Scott. Most likely to end up in a car crash is also Scott, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, so that's not very good. 
So we have who's I guess Tammy. No, wait, who do we have? We have Chad, who is also good at driving and is not even on the car crash list. Cynthia and Ch and Scott are both on the car crash list, so I'm definitely gonna pick Chad here. Okay, that took way too long. Chad. Oh, perfect. Nice. Your go karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Okay, nice. Talk Let's go. Good luck, Carrie. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. That We've actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I think so. I hope. I, th I think so. Impressive as hell, right? Damn straight. Damn straight. All right, we're we're playing. Which one are we playing? I I'm just feeling some crying for help right now. Oh, the kids are back already. Oh, already? I mean, I wanted to listen to the music. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. I love this fucking. <laughs> the game is advised. such a are you ready, Carrie? silly concept. It's amazing. <laughs> Don't die. All right, hit it. All righty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. <laughs> oh, right, baby. Heather. Get ready. Get background Wait music. Spotter signal. Spotter says go. Uh, okay, let's pause it. I was just going. so loud how does he whistle that loud he's crazy he's got some powerful lungs oh, Jimmy. Oh, oh, he's, his face is the keys carry yeah you i got to get i don't think catherine keys. maybe his catherine died too i don't know next to him forest got god oh my god oh god focus focus breathe breathe right jesus Why do they all call him Hot Sorry. David, even in like high stress working. situations You're like this? Great. Focus. What the fuck? You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. It's all important. Right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Nickname Stick. Hide. Okay. Does it go bad? I wonder how this goes if you picked all the wrong people. Oh, there he is. He's buying it. Let's go. Oh no. The, you could get everyone killed. <laughs> Damn it. Now, push the bookshelf over. Let's go. Oh my god, they both went through the floor. Did we kill him? They die. She's coming down. And yes, Heather. Quick, everyone to the van. This is going okay, I think. Driver, take the keys. We lost Tammy. They died because they didn't have a good poker face. You tell me you didn't pay attention without telling me. Look at the friendship quiz. It says bad poker face. Most likely to win the award for the worst old. poker face. Oh, so we shouldn't pick Cynthia. You drive through. Oh, the Oscar on the back because we didn't know at that Harry. time. What was we didn't that? know at that time there was a back. I see. Yeah, okay, right. okay. I see. Now. We didn't know. Didn't I turn this over on the table before and didn't see anything on the back? Yeah, on the paid time offsite. Tammy also wins an Oscar, though. I don't understand. Anyway, it's fine. Go! Just drive! Oh, my God. Please, no! I guess we should have done Lisa because... Okay, I see. Okay. Because she wasn't on the list at all. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Carrie? Did, did they all get killed somehow? He just... Oh, no, you're fine. He just stared at me. Okay, okay, Carrie! we're fine. 
Carrie? Just stared at me and walked into the woods. I don't understand. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? Okay. I can home. I thought you both for helping. Fine. We we almost saved everyone though. It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Only one plan. bro, only two of your friends died. <laughs> you get home. Don't forget, Jeannie. You get home. You get home he now, did Carrie. Carrie, the team. Before he changes his mind. Right. <laughs> I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll nice call one. you when I'm somewhere <laughs> safe. Talk to you then. Okay. I mean, it, we would have figured that out if we just like knew that we had oh, to turn so it over. That was, uh, that was still all right. I like that, was, that was good. Our thoughts go out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, this is so hug fucked your kids up, dude. extra tight oh tonight. My God. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Wait, excuse me for the girl walking home in the dark? Stab in the night! <laughs> you just keep playing the fucking stab song. Final breath! <laughs> this is, like, what do they want you to do there? How could you play a hey, song for them? Hey, we had a call Okay. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallows Everyone's Christ happy, tonight. okay? It's cool what you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink trying to get everything ready for the harvest festival tomorrow i had a guy from starling security here earlier installing the starling 4000 system so i'm a little behind as for my name my friends call me roller ricky and i now consider you a friend my man um you talk a lot no self-promotion thanks We're friends, friends now huh well that's kind of you to say thanks yeah man sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you so is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Roller Once Ricky. Time, believe it or not, I used to go by Just Ricky. Just Ricky? Oh yeah. my god. Back then, things were pretty rough. <laughs> this is so stupid. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk it's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Oh. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. Dude, why are you sharing all problems. of this on live air, dude? Sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. He gets down. <laughs> Finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh, oh. oh doggy. Doggy. Aw, oh, hello, Max. <laughs> She's hypers. Welcome, Max. He's a good boy. Well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Max is my emotional support Aww. dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. <laughs> Best dog a guy could ask for. Oh, wholesome. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate? Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. <laughs> but Maxie loves the rink, man. Oh, good boy. Is that boy. another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. He's a special boy. Maxie sounds like a really special boy. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the, the positivity the dog. you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. That rhymes. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. 
Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Yes. Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. I got, I got, I got the right thing for you. Final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. I can Thanks do that again for, for you. Calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxi. <laughs> oh, you got it, man. Peace. All right, well, folks. This next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Here we go. That's groovy as hell. You're gonna love this next track. That's groovy. I really That's needed damn that call, groovy. You know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring <laughs> to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. That's a total bob. You were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another <laughs> caller on the line. No, what but we wanted odds? to play the music. Take it. That's groovy. Rooftastic. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. One, this is Forrest oh, Nash. Shit. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Gary! Hey. Oh, I, to live. I just... Oh. To thank you for doing what you could earlier. Let's go. You know, even though not everybody made it. We were so uh, close. I don't know. We were one off. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Oh no, survivor's guilt. Why, why am I? Why what, uh -oh. Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did. Why let me go? Dad, he saw you as a victim. He got bored. <laughs> Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. He got Maybe. bored. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to... Oh These boy. stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest. Yes, what do you want? Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. Well, I got the right one for you. Thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Here we go. Oh, baby. Do we have more? We have only one of them. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes Damn. to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. I, I love these songs, man. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Okay. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. I see. Is there anything around here we can... Can we find more tapes? I want to find more music. There's no music around here. Cause we'll check around in the in the greater building later. I don't want to check around too much. Oh, oh I thought there was a tape. Yeah, I don't think there's. I don't think there's any stray music in here. Do you go to the third floor? No, it's locked off. All right, here we go. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or scratch that for us. We have a caller. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. <laughs> Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for <laughs> your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Oh, well remembered. Uh oh. <laughs> my name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Uh, you must really love it. <laughs> you must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have oh, it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but... You do have it. It's just outside the window. I don't want to go There's outside. A killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. 
But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Are you fucking crazy? Call us back tomorrow when this is all over, Don. Uh, and I'll gladly play it for you then. No, no, that won't do. Don't worry. I think I can bring you around. Forrest? Peggy, I'm... I'm calling with more than a request. Um... I know something. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest. And you'll find out. Um... <sighs> well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. All right, the word... Here comes one of my favorites. You keep saying that. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, We're is gonna she die. serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? I mean, we do. If she's telling the truth... Why don't you go? All right, I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Wait. Wait, our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it, uh, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah. <laughs> we should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll, think of it I'll 18. hold the board down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16, The Scream, with me, Peggy. Scream! Anyway, give me. I love the music. Okay, we can now go outside because we wait, is this gonna be upstairs? Is this door is locked, right? Upstairs here? No. I I mean it looked like that would be would be the door, but it wouldn't make any sense for the thing to be down there. Uh, I'm gonna go out through the back. Cause I do not wanna be I mean I guess this is gonna be bad either way. Here it goes. Uh uh oh. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Why are you talking? Out here? In the open? Hello? What is this? Is it... Water! Help! Okay, uh... I'm finding fuses? What do I need these for? Do I need these for something? Wasn't this where the guy died? Oh, there's another fuse. All right, if we need these fuses, they're all gonna be here. They're all three are there. We're probably gonna need those. Oh, there's another one. Wait, and there's another one in here too. Dude, these things are everywhere. What the hell? Can't even pick this one up. All right, anyway, whatever. We start to generate. <laughs> there's something out here. Is the where is it? I'm looking for the thing. Hi. Uh-oh. I see it here, though. Here it is. Long ride home. Let me guess. We're going to need to replace all of these. Why don't I do this already? Does it need to be add up to 70 or something? Use. I can't pick this up. Here we go. Oh, it probably needs to add up to 70. Can I? I can't put this in. Oh, I can't put this in. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just doing this. Uh, and then we need another five and another 30. Wait, let's see. What is this one? This is a five. That one's required. And then what's this? This is a 20. I think this is perfect. Because we have 30 already in there. 20. No, this is going to be one less. It's going to be 10 less. It's going to be 60. Is there like a 15 one? If we remove some, is that a thing we can do? 15! Here, nice, okay. This should be fine. I don't know why we're doing this, because I don't need to be... <laughs> this is going to be, like, useful later, I'm assuming. I don't want to have to go out here again and be killed later. Because right now, the game doesn't expect me to do this, probably. There. Bingo! I got an achievement called Let Me In. What the fuck just happened? Wait, did the door lock from the outside? Oh! 
Let me guess this door locked and we had- Of course. It locks uh, behind I me. see. And of course the key doesn't work on this I side. I see. Fantastic. I could probably survive that fall. <sighs> Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. Uh -huh, a, I a see. Door, we just speed ran this. Elevator or something. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? What? What is this? It's Clive! <laughs> uh oh. What the hell? Oh, Peggy's no. not gonna believe this. Hospital, power station, trailer park? Oh no. Blue for tonight, festival of disaster. Staff surge at the power station. Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Uh oh. Alien Creek's game day. Marriage announcement. Tim Walker and Peter Stein. Are, are these going to be all people that are going to be targeted? So much shit here. Justice for festival victims. Oh, it's like. It's a Robin Hood killer. Oh, there's a key. Ooh, there's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. Did I take the. No, I need to take this. I want to take this with me. I can't. Rebecca, Kim, and. What is with these? Take a screenshot. Wait, it like disappears. I right, take a screenshot. I don't know if that's going to be useful later. I have a head. Probably place that down. Don't need that. Anything? Just checking around before we leave. Don't want to miss anything. You're creepy as heck, man. All right, we're leaving. Can we though? We got the key. Which is probably going to be for the door here. I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. Yeah, I do wonder. That door's locked. Have we lose the key to unlock that? I see. Nice. We made it. But now we know that they have an, a way in as well, which is bad. He's inside the building. The call is coming from inside the building. Oh no, we're on air right now. Is Peggy like telling her life story? What is Peggy doing? Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I, I, I literally speed around the shit out of something this. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the, the murderer. What? Start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked. Oh, <laughs> we're telling the story. Okay, that was really fast, though. Yeah, play. Did we get a new song? Did we? Why did you heave that thing all, right. all the way up here? Uh, because the base oh, yeah, is creepy did. as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement, made by our creepy janitor. <laughs> Who you think is the creepy whistling man. Yep. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Wayne. And I see remembered. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there too. I hope I'm yes. The hospital, okay. the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Our power Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out. I love how we're just blasting this all on over not on air. Locations tonight. Right now. Hit the button if you need any help. Okay. I need to play the song. Gonna... <laughs> what the fuck? Long drive home. The barn... The barn finds? Yeehaw. Is there something to this that we need to use to figure it out? Let's see. Oh, we got the... He took everything with him. Okay, nice. We need to solve the mystery. Okay. Shut up, you peas. I hate this song. Get the fuck out of here. Play the... Play this song. This song was great. Okay. Uh, let's see. Call for the... Okay, we need to figure out where he is going, right? Do we? 
Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca. Oh, this is fucked. Um, big wheel breaks free. 15 injured. Who is to blame? Gallows Creek Harvest closed early this year. After tragedy struck only hours after the opening, the big wheel broke free from its supports and rolled through town. The investigation is currently underway. More on page 12. Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Former Gallows High football captain Chuck Brody suffered a career-ending injury as a victim of the festival disaster late last year. To help him on his road to recovery, we buy we are buying him some lottery ticket tickets. Hopefully he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Why are you buying him lottery ticket? Just give him money. Drop tickets in the bucket. Thanks. What is this stupid shit? Flu for thought. Flu for thought? Local Dr. K. Walker recommends all locals get their flu shot ASAP. Flu season is upon us. 84 is no different to any other year. Make sure you are protected. Staff surge of power station. Gallo Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff in record hire, 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Hmm. There's so much here. Can you give me any information? Because I'm confused. How's it going? Uh, I could use some help. Uh... It's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. Eh? There's four locations, right? And four people. Check. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. Uh -huh. And if they are, we can call them and warn uh -huh. them. There must be some connections between the notes. I see, I see, I see, sense. I see. Great. Need any more help? Uh, I'm good for now. Let's just leave her hanging for a sec uh let's see okay so hospital could be an option because everyone is like kind of fucking dead or something <laughs> um crime syndicate impounded criminal operation shut down 24 arrest inside informants walks free uh 24 hour gas station bought by local x lottery wick take or lottery winner rebecca might be the car thief Police have today finally put an end to the long-running car thieving crime syndicate. The arrests were made after a member gave up information on their co-conspirators to investigators. The informant, who asked to remain anonymous and will hereafter be referred to as R.A. Rebecca Allen has walked free with no charges. Okay. So you're, you're the, okay. So you're this. Dude, this is like a big puzzle. But now where do you live? We need to find out. Let's quickly ask her for help. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. That's what I've been doing. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Okay. Dude, Maybe this... that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Damn, Thanks, dude. Buddy. No problem. Okay. So let's 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 look at our notes, right? We have Chuck Brody. He is a he's a good guy. Then he gets hurt in a a victim of the disaster so he just get hurt gets hurt then he gets lottery tickets he buys a thing so he is innocent he's just a he's just a guy <laughs> then we have uh kim walker who is just a lady she's just like telling people to get their flu shots that's all then rebecca allen is a criminal but uh and so that is related to this as well but they are they like told people that they or like they, they told on their fellow conspirators. Um, so then we have this thing. Wait a minute. Trailer for sale. Cheap. Lot 101. Because this is for sale because of this. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer and leaving town ASAP. Okay. I see. So you were... You were the car thief who lived there. I see. So you were at the trailer park. Um, and then this one, I don't really know. Okay. So it seems like we got to... So they're literally just out of town. Um, I'm assuming it's the power station guy. So you're at the hospital. You are at the gas station because you bought the gas station. You are at the hospital because you're just working there. You were at the trailer park, but not really. So I'm assuming it's Ant Williams at the power station. All right, I'm pretty sure Kim. Kim is dead. Is Kim freaking? Oh, Kim might have died in this accident. Okay, true. Like this guy, this story is completed. 
This story is completed. They're fucking dead. This story is completed. They're out. Of, they're they're gone. They're bye bye. Ant is out of town. What date is it right now? Oh, it's 1987. Maybe he's out of town because of this convention. Sun. Wait. It's September. What month is it? It is September. Oh fuck. He's out of town from one to six. Wait. What? Damn. Wait. Who could it be then? So he's at the convention, so he can't be it. But then who the fuck did something wrong? Doesn't he go only after victims? I guess it could be... Because Kim is dead, right? Isn't Kim dead? The bite of 87. Tragedy struck at... Yeah, here, look. K. Oh, wait, K. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought it was K... K... It's not K Walker. Never mind, they did not die. Mine is her husband. Ah, so they got renamed. So probably, so she became K Stein, and then K Stein and P Stein died. Okay, so she's fucking dead. I'm sorry, Kim, but okay, we know this is a dead end. We know this is a dead end because they left town. We know this is a dead end because they're out of town right now. So it's gotta be Chuck from the gas station. Okay, I don't know why he goes after the victim. That doesn't really make any sense. I thought he only went after people who did wrong. But anyway, it's not it's not a good killer. It's a bad killer. Okay, so it's Chuck. Damn, that took us really long because it was a lot of things to read. But yeah, I think that's it. Kim is dead. Rest in peace. You're out of town because you showed your thing. You're out of town because of the convention is one to six, which it's one to six right now. So it's got to be Chuck. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm sure. Let's do it. He's going to be at the gas okay. station. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck. Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Gas station. The gas station. Okay. I'm dying. All right. Here we go. One I moment. think this was correct. Chuck Brody, listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the whistling man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and okay. everyone else out right now. The whistling man? Who the hell are you? Who okay. is this? This is Forrest Nash. Listen, <laughs> the whistling man's back. We found a list with your name on it and... Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Run! <laughs> it's today. What, what what happened today? Today. The accident. What? He ran off. I I think <laughs> he ran off. Okay, good. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck. <laughs> Jesus! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now. We saved I, him. Let's go. I, okay, that was actually. Is Chuck? This thing was know. like the, the deciding factor. We're getting a call. Nice. We lived. Oh, we just made Chuck? him live though. Chuck. Forrest, the whole goddamn gas station's got up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. Nice. I got everyone to follow me out. Let's go. The ambulance was blown to hell though. <laughs> Of course, yeah. they only got one ambulance, yeah, that's, that's only got one problem. fire truck, they only got I'm three sheriffs. I'm not feeling great. Okay, we did Forest, it. Forrest, man, I can't thank you enough, but yeah. I How did Dawn go. know this, though, that we were going to find this all Damn, in the basement? She's pretty it. sussy. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Oh. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Call board is lighting up? Sure. Here's some music while we regroup here on uh, KFAM 189.16. What if I play her least stream. favorite song? I think I do stab and we'll do late night lurkers. You'll like this next song. <laughs> Let's blow this joint. If it's Scopo, forget these songs. Some of them I know, like Crying for Help is good. Stab in the night is good. The word is a pretty weird song. This There's one's real be good. More in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting, okay. and if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, yes. we need to go back down. Okay. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. 
Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. Yes, okay. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Room riders. Okay, here we go. Nice, we've been doing good. All right, we need to stop. I should have probably played different music, but it's fine. Yeah, we're going back into the basement. Totally not dangerous to go back into the killer basement. The killer definitely knows how to get in there. Cause, and he also probably has the keys of the whole building because he's the freaking janitor. So, yeah, this seems like a bad idea, but we're doing it anyway. Dude. Fine. In here, right? Yeah, the janitor. The mannequin room. Is it going to be completely empty now? No. I thought it was going to be stripped clean. Okay, this is one weird room. Hmm. A key? Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Um... I feel like we're being baited. It literally has all kinds of arrows on it. I'm being baited. Alright, well... What could possibly go wrong? This is gonna be... It says basement stairs. Is there stairs over here? This one. Uh oh. Hey, Forrest. Peggy, Jesus give me some Christ. warnings before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay. We got a tape. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Um, it seems like this thing right here. Give it a play. Do I have a tape player or do I just gotta go all the way back up? To play the damn tape to come all the way back down? Oh no, here, we got a tape player. Nice. George Ballow, 1968. That's when this all began for me. Okay. Follow the maps, find the tapes. Follow the map, find the thing. George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Okay. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. All right, we're looking. Mouse traps. Wish I had a flashlight. It's very dark in here. Um, some things down there. Just a paddle. Oh, some beer. Must have gone to Ponty's Pizza. Um, what the hell? Creepy noises. What are you doing? Stop it! I don't see anything else here. Maybe, maybe here. Aha. I see this, the picture. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Another Cause picture. Of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Okay, is that this one? Oh boy, it is messy down here. There's another photo. So this is a tape player. I think I found this one. So this one can just go on the ground now because that one's right here. And this one is going to be another tape player and a book. Oh boy. I need to turn on the brightness. I can. I should save the game probably. I've not saved at all. Let's save real quick. And then uh, turn up the brightness because I cannot see anything. Brightness. Here we go. Turn it up to 80. Oh, way better. Let's go. Okay. Um, we have... Need to find some kind of dresser thingy. Oh, there's another tape player. I, wait a minute. I need to do these in order, though. I don't want to do them out of order. Where is it? In here? Back here? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's this one. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. Typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. As though the deceased had been running without stopping. Huh? 
police department. This looks useful. At 4 a.m., the call was received from a jogger, a Miss Sandra Sharpie. Wait, didn't we have Sandra? Reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove out to investigate and was able... Oh, they're gonna be... All of the people that he went after are gonna be involved in his drowning or so, some in some way something like that uh i drove out to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene thank you hong ye hong ye thank you for the five gift subs i drove out to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene as that of george barrow i contacted the coroner's office and then the boy's parents they informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m on the second not cleared date Blah, blah, blah. Matthews. Okay. Uh-huh. Is it turning red? Now we need to find this. Which is probably just going to be... Probably just going to be over here. Where we found the other one. New. It's going to be earlier. Where? Where is it? Is it in this cubby here? Yes. Okay. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moment of death. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Now, this is this one. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Interesting. I cannot see anything. Oh, there. Uh, there's also a book here. There's something we need to find. Dude, why are you doing this wild goose chase? Seems bad. Uh, it's in here. Yes. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Huh. Following that, he was moved. Dr. Silver, we need to have a talk. That recording. Shut it off. Uh, this has to be important. Reports of investigation by County Medical Examiner. Did they change the name of the body? Is that what's going on here? I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. What? The deceased is a Caucasian male. We had a Virginia. Yeah. Wasn't Virginia one of the people that he was after as well? Wait, the story is actually quite interesting. The deceased is a Caucasian male, age 18. The cause of death is established to be drowning as shown by the signs of a did we kill them it changed the report yeah wait who is it descent george it's still george Bar barrow though she's the one we didn't save uh, abrasions were found on the knuckles likely from getting into fights in the past matches with known history of deceased being aggressive no other injuries were observed and from the coroner's opinion there's no evidence of foul play so Additionally, the preliminary toxicology report indicates that the deceased had a high level of alcohol in their blood. It is of the coroner's opinion that the deceased went swimming while intoxicated. So they literally just changed it from them being chased and stuff into it being an accident. I see. Nicholas, thank you for the 22. Aha. Signed by Virginia. I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. Okay. So wait. Why are you sorry if you literally went after her again to kill her? You peace? You absolute... Dicko? If you're listening to this, then... I'm probably dead. What the... I'm a man who likes to stay informed. I've got subscriptions to newspapers all over the country. Okay. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. 
and each one drawing closer to Gallo's Creek. Drawing closer to the anniversary. Of the event? Of the accident? Innocent, but I don't think we deserve killing. All I hope now is that I can save some folk from the worst. And I can. I don't know. Do something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. Now, there's more I could say than I should say. But my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough for you. Okay. Who the hell you are. To start putting the truth together. Interesting. Okay. What the hell? This is really Peggy's cool. I'm not going to believe this. Umpty Dumpty. A story of love, tragedy, and betrayal. Starring Maisie Cartwright as Don. George Barrow as Henry. Also with Mary Campbell as Anne. Okay. Well then. Interesting. Okay, so we found out Clive is not the killer. Um, Don is in. So okay, this is it's like too much. You need to like sit down and like go through it. You need to like think real long and hard and put all the numbers together. To, like, cause right now we have all the pieces to put the story together, or at least a lot uh, of the important parts for at least understanding a majority of it. Let's talk to her. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? Virginia? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. On Virginia. Found another tape. It talks oh. more about how George died. What did it say? We're gonna go through everything now. Sounds like he was running for his life, sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure Being yet. Being well, we are sure because there's also a tape about a <laughs> toxicology report. It's Peggy. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. Peggy is the what? killer. <laughs> that would be the that would be a drugs, great plot twist. <laughs> and everything i found a written autopsy report what does it say according to that it's just like you said at the start george drowned after getting drunk said he liked to fight too but that contradicts the tape i know and i think i know why there's a note with the report that says i'm sorry i made you do this virginia if it was on the autopsy report then virginia must be our coroner Wait, the caller from <laughs> earlier. When we had to call Oh, because I didn't do this name, insane puzzle. That was a good puzzle, oh, though. She had made it. Then we might have learned more about what's going on. <laughs> no. It's okay. We did what we could. We tried, though. We but tried, we tried good. It was a long shot as it was. <laughs> I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Okay. Post mortem injury. Oh, it was not scripted. Apparently, we could have figured that his out. His arm got caught in a we car figured door. it out after we, we did door? the wrong answer yeah after he died how do you suppose they can tell how can they tell i'm a radio producer not a coroner Peggy's gonna be the last hmm. victim maybe the written report i found doesn't mention it at all how did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died unless he got it when the police collected his body i guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found but the report what is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Uh-huh. Sandra. The jazz runner. The jazz runner? <gasps> That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange That's about so that? so cool. George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on <laughs> reservoirs and got an A. But 
but ah, yeah, she's not smart. Right now. The important thing is Marty? that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. Why? That Maybe the, the sheriff tried to cover it up, but yeah. accidentally let something slip. And now they're killing like everyone that, that could okay. spill the beans. Well, sheriff Is Virginia, the, report. the sheriff, if he hadn't been eviscerated. We exactly. True, but Sandra is still Sandra's alive. still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. Okay. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. Ah! At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. Yeah, okay. This is starting to make sense now. This... This is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. Yes. I, Gallo um, Jr. might have done it, yeah. I think yeah. I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. The motive. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone Dude, would this find guy, it. The plot is thickening. <laughs> Do you think the whistling man already this is so got cool. It? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. <laughs> it's a good Christ, guy. Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident and the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save uh -huh. them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? <laughs> oh, Clive. So good. I'm sorry for thinking you'd killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? I think so. I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. Yes. And they hired Clive to make it look that I'm way. I'm so glad they, uh, they're summarizing it for us because I'm stupid. <laughs> we need to figure out our next step. Okay. Nice. That was good stuff, man. That was amazing. Oh, boy. Thank you. Actually, I think... I think we got to pause it. I'm so sorry, but I, I think the game is like another three hours long. I think we got to pause it there. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. I don't know exactly how long it is, but like if we go, this is like the per the most perfect stop we're going to get. The cliffhanger, dude. Okay, so yeah, that was, dude, this is crazy. I can't wait to find out more in the next episode of killer frequency uh it should be like another two three hours long uh and we're probably hopefully gonna solve the mystery i really like how they're putting this together uh i like that they are not dwelling on you failing so many games that have like these these permanent consequences go like hammer home all the time like oh if only we save them you killed them oh you're so bad whereas here it was just like they're just moving on quick and they're not like dwelling on it making you feel bad like it is one of those games where even though i messed up sometimes it doesn't make me want to go like oh i wish i could reload a save like it's just you just roll with the punches and you see what happens it's interesting nonetheless and it really seems like depending on who you let live or who or let live who you manage to save and who you who dies the story is going to turn out different and it's going to be harder in some other way so yeah we're going to find out who's the killer next time i can't wait i hope you join us for that and i hope you enjoyed it this video right here if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely game is over here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye 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 youtube oh baby